Welcome back, football fans. This is Red Wolf Sports Media, bringing you a yet another youth football matchup to wrap up the 2021 season. Today we've got the Hop Hog Eagles squaring off against the North Shore Colts. This is an eight-year-old matchup. They'll be playing at the Hop Hog Youth Complex, located in comfortable Hop Hog, Long Island, just down the block from the federal buildings. Uh, we've got a start time of about 10.15 a.m. on Sunday, November 21st. Uh, again, this is an eight-year-old team, so they've got some modified rules. I'll step you through that as we go along. Right now, the captains are out on the field, flipping the coins, learning who will be receiving, who will be kicking off, and we've just about got that figured out. I believe the Hop Hog Eagles, wearing their silver helmets, will be taking the ball out first. I didn't see a clear indication there. The Hop Hog Eagles are coached by Jesse Zuckerman. This is a championship game wrapping up this season. Uh, I don't know the, the records of each one of these teams, but they must have played through a gauntlet of regular season teams as well as some playoffs to get to this final day. So in just a moment, we'll be underway. So with the modified rules, we do have the teams will always be carrying the ball from right to left. We will have some confusions today as both teams are wearing their royal blues. We'll be using the helmets to tell who is who with the Colts wearing white and the Eagles wearing silver. First handoff goes to number 41. That's Gavin Leonard on the carry. So some of the modifications we will see today, as I said, all teams will be carrying the ball from right to left. They start off on what's basically the equivalent of the 50. Ignore the far side that says 30. But they're on about the 50-yard line to begin, and they'll be moving the ball in sections of 15 yards at a time. There are no standard 10-yard chains. So we've got a uh, the first 15 yards gets them a first down, and so on and so forth. Next handoff goes to number 17, who sweeps to the right. Number 17 was Billy Gravels for the Eagles, picking up just a few yards there. Third down coming up. Two backs in the backfield. Quarterback settles in under center. Hands off to his running back who sweeps off near side. Number 17 is on his horse. He's up to about the 22-yard line. That was Billy Gravos on the carry, and that'll get them another first down. So as I said, uh, they're really supposed to start at about the 45-yard line. So the first downs are really fixed at the 30-yard and 15-yard markers, uh, respectively. So first down here, quarterback hands off to number 17. Again, that's Gravos on the carry. He makes a move and gets his way all the way up to about the 14 or 13, depending on where they spot that ball. All right, so we've got uh, quarterback Matt Miller, number 86, under center. Two backs in the backfield. He hands off to number 41. That's Gavin Leonard, who works his way up to about the 10-yard line before being brought down. I think that was number 24, Jay Singh from the Colts making that tackle. So I believe we're at second down from this position. Handoff goes to number 35, who works his way into the end zone. That's Jake Sorty on the carry. Touchdown Eagles, six points on the board here early in the first quarter. Now, as I said, all teams move the ball from right to left, so this has been reset to what is basically the equivalent of, we'll call it the 45-yard line because they are supposed to be 15-yard increments. So let's see. Uh, the Colts have uh, one back in the backfield. Number 24 looks like he's carrying. He carries up to... Uh, about the 40-yard line. I think that was actually 25. Gianluca Malizia on the carry. Um, other modifications I should point out are this is not 11-on-11. 11 11. This is 8-on-8 eight eight at this age group. So one of the other modifications we'll see. Um, also, you notice there was no extra point kicked or run. Ball carrier runs right up the middle is brought down by number 13, Daniel DiLorenzo for the Hot Pog Eagles. Ball carrier was number 45, Dylan White for the Colts. 
Uh, Dylan White, I assume, is the son of head coach Brian White, who head coaches the, the 7 and 8-year-old Colts team. Number 23 is the quarterback. He hands off to number 21, who's Ryan Washington, who makes a move to the outside and carries all the way up to about the 32-yard line. First down will be awarded at about the 30. So they're about two yards short. Yeah, so you'll see the marker right here in front of us. We've got fourth down coming up, two yards to go. Two backs in the backfield. Quarterback hands off. Oh! Running back wrapped up in the backfield. That was number 45. Dylan White on the carry. I believe he was stopped just shy, and it was. Turnover on downs goes the way of the Eagles, and they'll take over back on their own 45-yard line again. Oh, ball on the ground. I can't really make it out. It looks like it was recovered. Nope. It's going the other way. Uh, nope. Yeah, the Eagles retain possession. Sorry. Uh, I should have pointed out I am not at the field calling this live today. Unfortunately, my schedule did not permit for that. So I am recording this through the same view that you have right now. That was number 17. Billy Gravos on the carry. Picked up maybe four yards. Uh, before being brought down by number 32, John Alamio Alamo, on the uh, on the Colts team. Sorry, looks like a big defensive tackle in the middle there. Quarterback looks to keep. He's out of frame. He's back in frame. That was number 86, Matthew Miller on the carry. I believe we've got fourth down coming up. Um, still about 10 yards to go to the next increment. Through two backs in the backfield. Matt Miller on the center. Pre-snap whistle. Bodies flying. That was number 48, Ben Keel, who hit the ground. Uh, I don't see any movement of the ball here, so we're just looks like they just redid the down. So again, two backs in the backfield, eye formation, quarterback under center. Hands off to Gravos, who works his way up to, oh, about the 26-yard line and likely a first down. Uh, I failed to call out that we did enter the second quarter. That was likely uh, at the last change of possession. I apologize for not pointing that out. So we got one back in the backfield and a wing back, number 41, who carries as almost a jet sweeper. That was number 41. Uh, Gavin Leonard on the carry, works his way up about five yards to the 20 yard line. One back in the backfield. Wing back off to the offensive right. Looks like Jack Zuckerman in the backfield right now. Quarterback hands to the jet sweeper. That was number 35. Jake Sorty on the carry. Brought down by number 45 on the Colts. Dylan White. And brought down the balls marked back at about the 25-yard line. Next first down would be all the way up on the 15. Hand off to Gravos. Works his way to the right side. Breaking tackles. Brought down at about the 10-yard line. And that'll be a first down, Eagles. Two backs in the backfield. Matt Miller on the center. Ball goes down. Recovered by who? Looks like the Eagles were able to get it. That was a heads-up play by Jax Zuckerman to retain possession. There brings up second down. So we've got second and goal from about the... Um, what are we at? About maybe the seven? The six? Handoff goes to Zuckerman. Oh, no, sorry. I got faked out myself there. 
That was Matt Miller on the carry, brought down by number 21, Ryan Washington. Uh, I'm guessing based on the music that there was probably a timeout called there. So we got two backs in the backfield. Matt Miller settling in under center. Matt Miller hands off to 41. That's Gavin Leonard working his way up to about the five-yard line and brought down by Washington and White. I'm oh, sorry, that was Jay singing on the carry, uh, on the tackle as well. The Eagles working on a really long offensive drive here. This has got to be play number 10 or 12, I'm guessing, somewhere around there. Handoff goes to 35. That's Jake Sorty on the carry. Gets around to the 5 and is pushed out of bounds somewhere along the way. we got a player down on the far side. He's tended to by his coach. And we're back at it. All right. I think we're probably at about 3rd or 4th down here. And the ball looks to be, if I can tell by the pylons, it looks like we're on maybe the 6th. Gravos takes it, heads off to the right side, steps inside a tackler, brought down at about the five. Don't think that's going to be enough, and I believe that was fourth down. So let's see what happens next. And that was a turnover on downs. Long drive halted by the North Shore Colts as they now take over on their own 45-yard line. Uh, I assume we're running late in the first half here, probably the back half of the second quarter. They've got two backs in the backfield, uh, number 25 and number 21. Uh, some pre-snap motion doesn't get whistled. That was Ryan Washington, the tailback, who is the ball carrier and is brought down for no gain. And a decent effort there by the Eagles to strip that ball. So two backs in the backfield, split, uh, split wide. And Washington gets the carry here, makes his way to the right side, brought down for short game maybe maybe two yards depending on where they spot the ball another handoff to Washington swarm of Eagles brings him down for no gain again big stop there for the Eagles I believe this is gonna be third or fourth down there might have been a do-over somewhere in this series Two backs in the back. You'll see number 25, Gianluca Malizia. And number 45, Dylan White. Malizia carries. No, sorry, yeah. Malizia carries and makes his way up to about the 40 for a five yard gain. I believe this is likely fourth down. Again, with no standard yard markers, it makes it a bit challenging. I've got to keep mental track here. Handoff goes to number 25. Again, Malizia on the carry. Works his way upfield. He's at the 30. He's running clear. Touchdown, Colts. That put six points on the board, and I believe that is right at the buzzer. That was, that was probably just about as time expired as we head into the halftime break. Okay, folks, as we come back from the halftime break, now would be an excellent time to hit that thumbs up button on this video. We certainly would appreciate it if you wanted to subscribe to the channel as well. And go ahead and click that notification bell so you're notified every time we post up some new content. During the halftime break, these kids got some water, got some refreshers, and are ready to go. We're tied at six points apiece as the Hop Hog team takes over back on their own 45-yard line. Again, still moving the ball from right to left. That was ball carrier Gavin Leonard, number 41. Uh, made it through the line of scrimmage and brought down by a linebacker. Nice tackle there. Handoff goes to who was that? Leonard again. That was Leonard again, brought down by two tackling Colts. Third down coming up. Still about 12 yards to go to get up to that, that next sectioned off first down, which is at the 30 uh, on the left side of your screens. One back in the backfield. Quarterback hands off. To, sorry, to 17. That's that's uh, Gavin Leonard again. Uh, Billy Gravos. Sorry, Billy Gravos breaks free. Works his way all the way upfield. 
I think I saw a flag come out of the near side ref's hand, and he's got his hands up. This is likely going to get called back, unfortunately. Uh, and it was. So uh, looks like the ball is being spotted on the 25-yard line. If that's the case, this is likely a first down. Seems to be some conversations with the coaching staff, and they are pointing back upfield. And it looks like the Eagles are going to get backed up a bit. Let's see where they land. So the ball was spotted way back up on the original line of scrimmage at 45. And I think that brings up fourth down. Uh, maybe this is a do over a third down. So we've got, uh, looks like, two backs in the backfield. No, we had a wing back. And let's see who we have there. That was Gavin Leonard on the carry. I assume that was now third down because we've got another down coming up. Two backs in the backfield. Handoff goes to Gravos. Gravos comes near side, gets around the corner, hits the brakes and cuts back inside at about the 32-yard line. But it looks like the ball came out and is gobbled up by... Yeah, it looks like that was a hot pog player that grabbed it. I'm sorry, I couldn't see who it was. But I did see a, a Colts player come up empty-handed. So we're not quite at, I don't know, there should be a marker somewhere in front of me, but it's not there. Uh, it looks like this might be fourth down. So we've got, sorry, number 35 on the carry. That was Jake Sorty. He gets up to the 30, and that starts a new set of downs. So we've got first, then first down, and about 14 from the 29-yard line. Handoff goes to Sorty again, who cuts up through the middle. Is met by a few Colts and is brought down after a pickup of four. Second down coming up. Ball spotted on the 25-yard line. Two backs in an eye formation. Matt Miller still under center. Handoff goes to Gravos. He drops the ball. It scoots away, and it looks to be recovered by the Colts. Uh, looks like number 25, that's uh, Gianluca Malizia, who was able to come up with that. After the turnover, the Colts take over back on their own 45-yard line, once again moving the ball from right to left. Two backs in the backfield. One is kind of offset near side here. Ball hits the ground, and that'll be a dead ball. Bring it up second down. Two backs in the backfield. We got number 25, Malizia. And number 45, I think that was Washington. Uh, so Malizia carries near side up to about the 36, maybe 37 yard line. 45 was Dylan White was the other back that came out blocking. Good. Dylan White right now lined up near side, offset. Handoff goes to Malizia. Cuts back inside, works his way up to about the 32-yard line. So the Colts are facing fourth down and short yards. They've got to get to the 30, so they've got about one and a half yards to go. Two split backs in the backfield. Quarterback hands off to 45, who drops the ball, is able to smother it, uh, but that didn't get them up to the 30-yard line, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. And the Eagles now take over back on their own 45-yard line. Oh no, the ball popped out again and looks to be recovered by a Colts player. Ball carrier was number 41, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, 41 Gavin Leonard. Recovered by number 5 Camden Farbach on the Colts team. And the Colts will now take over back on their own 45 yard line.
Handoff goes to Washington, I think that is. And he fumbles it away. And I believe that was recovered by Miller. That was uh, quarterback Matt Miller playing linebacker. Was able to recover that fumble. And with that fumble, we move into the fourth quarter as we've now changed sides again. So as we open up the fourth quarter, the Eagles have the ball on their own 45. That was Jake Sorty on the carry, number 35. Picks up maybe maybe four yards on the carry, so it looks like we're probably on about the 40, 41 maybe. Two backs in the backfield. Miller hands off to Sorty. Sorty works his way to the outside, doesn't get far. He's brought down at about the 37-yard line. This brings up, I believe, to be third down. Two backs in the backfield. Nice move there by 41. I think that's Gavin Leonard on the carry. Brought down at about the 35-yard line. I've got that right. Yeah, 35-yard line. Two backs in the backfield. I formation. Got Jake Sorty on the carry up past the 30 first down Eagles. Lots of kicking going on down there on the ground. So with a fresh set of downs, the Eagles have first and 15, I guess if we can call it that, from about the 29 and a half yard line. They need to work their way up to the 15. So this is Leonard on the carry. Works his way up to about the 17-yard line before being pushed out of bounds. Maybe the 18. Yeah, they spotted on the 18. So we've got second down coming up. I formation. Handoff goes to Sorty. Sorty gets tangled up in the backfield, works his way out of trouble, but is brought down by some more Colts. No gain on the play. Handoff goes to number 17. That's Billy Gravos. He's tangled up at about the line of scrimmage and falls forward. Works his way up to about the 17 yard line. I think this is third down coming up. Possibly fourth though. Eagles looking to nudge their way up to that 15 yard marker so they can get another first down. Oh, stopped at the 15. Forward motion probably not going to be awarded. And that was a turnover on downs. Big stop there by the North Shore Colts. Bringing up a fresh set of downs for them back on their own 45 yard line. Two backs in the backfield. Handoff goes to number 25. That's Malizia, who cuts inside a tackler and is brought down at about the 35-yard line. Nice bit of running there by John Luca. So we got second down coming up. Ball just shy of the 35 yard line. That was Malizia on the carry again. No, no gain on the play and likely a loss of yard. Let's see where they spot that back. Yeah, that's, that's backed up maybe two or three yards. So third down. Two backs in the backfield. Melizia now off on the end. Washington on the carry. Turns back the other way. He's at the 30. Brought down at about the 23 yard line by Jake Sorty, number 35. So that gives the Colts a fresh set of downs now. So they got first and ten, or first and yeah, actually it's about first and ten given where they were. That was number twenty-one. 
Ryan Washington on the carry brings it up to about the 19-yard line. There's a few yards shy of another first down. Third down coming up. Two backs in the backfield, split back formation. Quarterback is now number 23. He hands off to Washington. Washington makes his way around the corner and then gets a big hit. Let me see who that was. Jeez, I'm sorry, Dave. Might have been John Alamio. Alamio? So I believe we've got first and goal from about the 15-yard line now. Split backs in the backfield. Handoff goes to number 25, Malizia, who gets around the edge, works his way upfield. Touchdown, North Shore Colts. That puts six more points on the board and bringing their tally up to 12. Big hug from Coach there as they celebrate in the end zone. So we're getting late here in the fourth quarter. The Eagles take over back on their own 45-yard line. Looks like there was some pre-snap activity there, but not whistled. And that was Billy Gravos on the carry. Works his way all the way up to the 28-yard line. And a first down. So we've got first and about 15 or so. Uh, maybe, maybe less. Sorry, 15, 13. That was Gravos on the carry again for a yard, pickup of maybe one or two yards. Second down coming up. Boys are running fast now. I think we're getting very late in the game. If I had a clock, I'd guess we're probably maybe two minutes left. Wing back off to the right. Handoff goes to, oh, there's a passing play. Deep in the end zone. Oh, and it hits number 41, Gavin Leonard. Unable to reel that in. And that's going to bring up third down. Great pass, though. That was right on the money. So we got two backs in the backfield. Matt. Miller keeps it, works his way upfield, is brought down by number 21, Ryan Washington. And I believe that play is going to wrap up the game. I've got a final score with the North Shore Colts of 12 and the Hot Hog Eagles with a score of 6. Congratulations to both teams on making it this far into your seasons. We here at Red Wolf Sports Media appreciate your support. Please consider subscribing to the channel clicking the not notification bell. Check out some of our other things. We do a lot of highlight films for, for college recruiting purposes, lots of youth and high school game films. We'd love to see you out here on the football and lacrosse fields. We also do basketball and soccer. Please consider us for your future events. Until then, thanks for having us, and have a great Thanksgiving, everybody.